G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So the other day I went camping down at Warnable for the long weekend and if you don't know where Warnable is, it's uh, probably about 300 kilometers away from the city down uh, in southwest Victoria there near Portland and that. And the main reason I was there was not only is it an awesome place to just go and hang out and camp and whatnot, but I also wanted to get my first crayfish. And I've been trying locally for a fair bit now, but I haven't really had much success, but there looked like a good spot. So I went there and well, so the first spot that me and my mate tried was, uh, not, it was all right, bit of beach there, a bit of a long swim out to the reefs and whatnot, but just let the footage play for itself, hey? <laughs> Fading light, hearts collide, shadows dance in the distance. Something just ain't right, I'm cold inside. Help me find what I'm missing. We're all scared to fly, still we try. Learn to be brave, see the other side. Uh, the next what we went to the next day was a massive big flat rock we found with some tall cliffs and stuff on top of it. That was a really nice spot. We jumped in there straight away and well, we were greeted with heaps of fish life. The water wasn't the nicest, like pretty cold, bit choppy, bit green, bit murky, but we did the did all right out there. Got schooled by a big school of salmon, so knocked a couple of them for the smoker. Don't you leave me there, have no fear. Close your eyes, find paradise. Checked a couple of wedges and I was lucky enough to stumble on a full honey hole of crayfish. There's probably, I don't know, 40 or 50 in there, just heaps. see most of them in the clips but because most of them are sort of behind the ones at the front but there was a few good ones in there probably two three kilo craze just some good big dogs in there um unfortunately there's no footage of me actually grabbing them so because what happened was i found them and then me and cooper went into the rock for a bit of a break get something to eat and then i went back in but he was too tired so he didn't and i grabbed two that time bagged out on these big ones but he wasn't there to film it so there's no footage of me actually grabbing them sorry but so away it goes. Dice, close your eyes, find power. Oh, my, my, my. There's a thousand miles between you and I. Oh. Anyway, guys, that was pretty good, pretty fun. Then after that, that was the last day we were there. So then we head back to the peninsula after that and uh, got back home, cooked them up. Good feast, it's pretty easy. Crayfish or southern rock lobster are probably one of the easiest animals to clean. All you have to do, you know, can take the tails off and stuff, but all we did was essentially cut them in half right down the middle. And because all their tail meat goes right up almost to their head, almost. Uh, we scraped all the guts out, stuff like that, shuck that away. Then we um, garlic butted it. Now, 
it and chopped it on the barbecue, which is really easy and really delicious. Mom, trying to let you go. Trying to let you go. It's basically as simple as that, and when it's nice and white and cooked, you eat it. And boy, let me tell you right now, it tastes absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Going to finish watching the sunset. I'll see you guys in another one. Phew!